guess everybody got themselves a special sun pony this Hearts and Hooves day. Ugh! Why do we have to do a special day to celebrate love? It's idiotic! I... don't need... <gasps> huh? Tank. I... I... <sighs> but of course I will. I don't even have to think about it. And you didn't even have to ask. Yeah, um, hold on. I don't, uh, dang it. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to The Brony Show, episode 521. I am Circuit, and now that I think about it, can you guys say something real fast? Hi. Hi. I say something real fast. Okay, all audio works. Hooray. And welcome once again to The Brony Show, episode 521. Of course, I'm Circuit, and uh, we're here to bring you the Brony community for this week. Real quick, we're gonna just uh, jump right off on the bat here. Uh, we're gonna, we are um, running. We're already running a bit behind in regards to stream to, to streaming. So, um, uh, just to uh, let's uh, get a, uh, you know, I, wow, they called us. Have you ever had that moment where you're trying to get your thoughts in a row and you end up like literally ram ramming your engine uh, off the back of your caboose? Uh. I can tell you, it's happened many times in model railroading. Fair enough. All right, let's try that again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Brony Show. I'm Circuit. Everything is working now, hopefully. And uh, we're here to bring you the Brony community for this week. Of course, we're running a bit behind, so we may speed things up a little bit. Luckily, there's not a lot to talk about. But uh, first, let's go ahead and introduce our panelists that we have. Of course, uh, I have mentioned we do have Coal Dust. Hi, the delays are my fault. It was worth it. It was awesome times. And we are joined by Deathlight Productions. Hi. DM21. I have some somber news today. Don't we all? But uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Tech Stallion. So tired from work. And Suki of the Otaku Ascended. Hi. Now for today's show, we actually have a little bit of an exciting thing here. I just I noticed that a lot of um, streamers, YouTubers, things like that were doing tier lists. So I decided, you know what? Let's do a tier list. Let's do a tier list of the best pony. Not pony waifu, best pony. Because b pony waifu can get really messy. Best pony will get messy. <laughs> but it'll be fun messy. And what? of course, and I luckily found somebody who already made a tier list of 230 characters from My Little Pony. So we're going to go through them as much as we can in the amount of time that we have once we get there and see and judge who is the best pony or what rank they are from each from one to each other. So yeah, I'm expecting complete chaos and we're going to definitely get some people really pissed off by the end of this. But of course, um before we do that, uh, we have to warm up our vocal cords and uh, do a, a little bit of a warm up as well as, you know, just give you guys a taste of what's going on in our daily lives and such, which we affectionately refer to as What's Up Brony or Wub Time. And I know normally I would be to at the first to ask What's Up Bronies. However, I do want to steal the soapbox here for just a quick moment. Uh, and to uh, not exactly make an announcement, but I guess um, a plausible warning 
you know, uh, uh, this is kind of the same warning I've given a couple of times in the distant past. Unfortunately, now I have to do it again. So, as it currently stands, and my current, um, well, my position of work was not exactly one of a permanent status at the moment. We were under contract in hopes of becoming something permanent. Unfortunately, middle of last week, they basically swung the hammer down on any hope of that in rather brutal a way. They uh, basically said by the end of the month, they were done. Everything get, uh, they're shutting down our project. They're shutting down our division. They're shutting down ev literally the exact thing I'm working under. Oh, oh no. So at the moment, I'm, I'm basically looking at completely losing my job at the exact end of the month. That, that freaking sucks. No, uh, the, the sucky part is um, I normally don't, I'm not one to advertise this, but I think it just adds that l nice little touch of salt to the wound. My birthday is this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday to you. And admittedly, it's a pretty, it's a one of those substantial birthdays, you know, not one of those ones where like, oh, I'm get a birthday today. Let's grab a cake and a dinner and then pretend I don't exist. Now, this is one of like, okay, I have to acknowledge existence in some regard. So, yeah, it, it was a fun one. So, when I'm going to. It rains, it pours. It does, it does. So, at the moment, uh, to say that I'm starting to warm up, uh, to brush off the old resume and starting to look around uh, would not be in incorrect. Um, the reason I bring it up, though, is. Um, I don't know how this will affect the future of the show, to be blunt. As it happens, we've been, I've been pretty lucky in the past where my, the work that I've had at times has been not has not gone into the way where it completely it collides with my, a Monday podcasting schedule that I had set up. Of course, I had a fight for it at near the beginning, and then I got a standard nine to fiver, and it, you know, it just kind of worked out its way. And um, uh, so, people that are panicking that I'm going to be out of my house in a couple of weeks—that's not that bad because um, we are going to be moved to a different project temporarily. Of course, that's until I can either find a posi different position in the work or into in my uh, workplace, or find a different job altogether. Either case, I'm going to be pursuing both of those options. But um, in case, in worst case scenario, I I don't know what will ultimately happen with the podcast, or if we might be looking at the final several weeks, or if maybe we'll still be going on for a few years. I basically this is just kind of the heads up in case um, the really unfortunate happens. Because, unfortunately, life is kind of like that. It comes at you unexpectedly, and sometimes things don't always go the way you ha hope. Of course, granted, this is not the first time I've ever made, I've made this particular talk and things have turned out okay. I'm still hoping that things will turn out okay this time as well. But I just want to get that out there and, and the possibility that I don't suddenly one day come on and say, Okay, this is the last show, everybody. Sorry. Because uh, that would be unfair to you. After all this time. But, yeah. I don't see this being the last, but it might be the last of a, the consistent schedule you've uh, been having maybe, since the beginning of the show. Maybe maybe the last of the consistent schedule. Maybe it, it might... I don't know. I really don't know what to, what will happen with this. I, I In fact, I next um, next week they're supposed to be um, worked, um, starting to train us up on the other project in or if uh, we're don't already have something in line, so I might end up already having to have things um, be a little fly by night. Who knows? It's it's kind of a it's kind of a messy situation, unfortunately, and it really did. A lot of people are really miffed about it because it, it basically was it was like they dangled a carrot just to suddenly pull it away. It's really annoying kind of situation. But anyway, I just wanted to get that out there. I'm hoping that things will be able to continue on for a while longer because I still continue to love doing this. It is purely a labor of love as it always has been for years, but it's my love. And that's what's always been the most important thing to me. 
Anyway, um, so that's enough of my somber news. Who else wants to throw somber news out there? Actually, you want to you want to hear something stupid? Yeah, sure, go for it. Okay, so I literally just did this like ten, like fifteen minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I, I walked I walked out to go get go get some water, and we had so we had some of those some like mini Reese's cups sit, sitting out there. Oh boy! And I was like, and I was just like, oh yeah, okay, I'll grab one of these. I go I go open up the foil, and and. Uh, I'm used to I'm used to the little mini mini cups like not not just being in the foil, so I just popped the thing in my mouth. Yeah, let's say, uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, Reese's decided to do, do the standard packaging on these things. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, I immediately started chewing paper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, somebody in the was somebody really quick asking if the tier list has sunset. I do not know. Uh, I, it's really hard to tell. I'm looking at 230 ponies. I'd be really surprised if she wasn't. We got clams in this pic in this list for crying out loud. So I'd be really surprised if Sunset wasn't in here. So um, I'm pretty sure Bacon Hair is in here. I just can't see her right off the bat. On the topic of eating paper, I was yes. I was discussing with uh, Feather recently that uh, <clears throat> so I get Chinese food a lot, including tonight. Um, and uh i usually get the uh like you know the standard uh uh cookie the fortune cookies with them right and mm -hmm. one time me being superstitious me because uh apparently that's a thing um before a trip uh with uh t500 i think it was before 7-eleven trip actually uh, me being like overly cautious, I just decided to eat the entire cookie, fortune and all. Oh no! <laughs> yep. So that's a thing that I have to live with. Well, and now you know at I home mean... that yes, the pre the pre show host is uh the sort of person who will be so nervous about the future that they will eat a fortune cookie whole, including the fortune inside. You're welcome. Well, Can't best way to if you don't see it. Best way to take on that fortune, though I've never heard of a fortune cookie being really bad luck, except for um, Rocco, who's <laughs> smart in life. And they Matt, also had that little lottery number underneath the writing that most of the time. Bad luck and a grim misfortune will best your pathetic life for all eternity. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so uh, anybody else have any other what's up, Brony? They want to throw out there. This might take a while, and I don't know if you have the time for it, but uh, my landlord told me last year that we wouldn't have to worry about moving soon. But unfortunately, for reasons I have to make their uh, gender uh, uh, obscured, so they tried to fight uh. this as long as possible. But and at the worst time, my sister's going through schooling, and... Uh, Guess what? We have to move in the next two to three months. Oof. And she only has one week to pack, uh, which is uh, the next week or is it the week after? I can't. Well, anyway. And we've been getting on each other's nerves for the past week a lot because uh, she's she, we were panicking to get out and we blew up at each other at one point. Yeah, it was not a good week. Hmm except for the weekend, which was pretty fun. But anyways, uh, yeah, I have to move, and uh, and we're finding it hard to make a to get a good place because uh, we not only do we have to deal with landlords, we have to deal with the realtors as well these days, representing the landlords <laughs> when yeah. they show the place. And it's definitely not a good combination right now. Anybody else have any other news that isn't going to bring down the house in tears? Oh, I just replaced um, radius arm bushings on my explorers, and now they access it straight. Yay! That's about, <laughs> that about four hours of my life on <laughs> the cold. I'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, well, that was a thing that desperately needed to be done. <laughs> yes. I won an eBay auction for some old train photos. Oh, Ooh. I'm so annoyed. I almost won an eBay auction for a jabroni. Oh, dang. Yeah. It was a San Diego Comic-Con joke from 2015, I think. They actually had a a, um, a, fi a fake figure called a jabroni. 
And it's basically um, an Applejack figure on uh, like a G.I. Joe thing. An Applejack head on a G.I. Joe figure kind oh of thing. Oh my god. It's the most amazing thing. I I actually was winning the auction until five minutes. And then somebody just swooped in. And I don't know what they bid, but I could not outbid them at all. So I, ah, I'm so annoyed. Well, since you got the news about you possibly losing your job, it might have been a good thing they uh, sniped it from you. I had that jabroni on uh, on my on my hunt list for months. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's just annoying. But uh, yeah, yeah, I can gonna... relate. I can relate. I w but not this I time. This time I won my eBay auction. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh big show off. Okay. When 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 I won, I was I I was at my parents' house. Uh, we were playing a game of uh Ticket to Ride. As I was like, you know, f like checking up and, and like putting in my final bids, and uh, the moment that like I won, I just got up and started flossing. The dance that is. Oh like, my uh, god! Yeah, that dance that it was... Sonic did after crushing Robot Robotnik's robot in the movie. I haven't seen the Sonic movie. I have no idea what you're talking about. But um, yeah. Uh, Bluey. Remember that Bluey episode where all about flossing? Do Granny's Floss? That was a good episode. I didn't hear it's a great show for kids and adults. It's a great show. You should watch Bluey. Honestly, I have been having fun with it too. It's been kind of nice. Anyway, uh, does anybody else have any other What's Up Brony? Should we go ahead and move on to fun things? Like news. Cause... <laughs> Actually, apparently there's a lot more of this than I thought. I think you know your meme, but yeah. Yeah, just have fun with that image here real fast. Well, I also make sure I don't have to accidentally find something so that creature... Why Ash? Yeah, I like I love that so much. That, that actually make that gives me life. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, move on then to the news. And of course, uh, starting off with the news, let's go ahead and talk about pony conventions because there has been some uh, updates in regards to this. Of course, we uh, mentioned Gleam Fest, which I have no clue what that is, and it's coming in two and a half weeks. I keep forgetting to actually research it. I still don't know. So if you're really curious, I would recommend checking it out or checking up on it. I just wish I could give you more details than it exists. Along with that, we do have the next um, physical convention that's happening a week later, the Festival of Friendship that is happening in England. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun there. And, of course, is the convention I am going to go to because I really can't cancel airplane tickets or anything else for the matter. So I'm kind of doomed to go regardless of anything that happens. BabsCon 2023. So I will be at BabsCon one way or another. From there, I don't know what else I'll be at, but uh, I am going to be going to BabsCon. And, of course, uh, the convention that just barely happened, HarmonyCon... Uh, we had Toa Koi and CMC there along with uh, Winchester and a few others. However, they're still currently on their way homes from in their respective tra modes of transportation. So that's why they're not here today. We won't be able to hear about the convention until next time. But I've heard a lot of good things about uh, HarmonyCon this year. Apparently they got over a thousand people. Which is pretty nice. Hot damn. Yeah. Now, um, of course, uh, we do have updates in regards to the conventions themselves, starting off with BabsCon, since that is the one uh, um, I am going to, so it has my special attention. They have hit their funding goal that they were shooting for in order to um, make the convention a fun and good one, at, especially considering they also had some complications after the co after um, twi um, Twilight Sparkle Secret Shipping Service. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Celestia's Pancake Madness. I don't know where my brain went with that, but Celestia's Pancake Madness. 
the costs involved with uh, that, the unfortunate cast, only get all that fun stuff. Basically, everybody is still trying to recover after all the shenanigans. Anyway, shenanigans. But yeah, it looks like they got the fu all the funding they needed. So good thing, good times are going to be had by all. And not only that, they have announced the guests that they have coming. They have announced Sarah Nicole Robles and Katrina Salisbury. Of course, Katrina Salisbury is um, our wonderful student yak. Yona is best yak. Yona is definitely best yak, and that is absolutely her name. However, Sarah Nicole Robles, in, which makes things a little interesting, is Ooh. from Owl House. A pardon? They actually Lucy. have... They have a the voice actor from Owl House. Yo, that's freaking awesome. Yep. And she's coming over to... She's coming to Babs because apparently weirdos have to stick together. Hella. That's very true. <laughs> I can't argue that. So, yeah. It's a, Owl it's House fun, is so good. It's a fun way to expand, yeah. and I have no complaints. Circuit, have you seen Owl House? I have not, but... It's Would you like to? It's on the to-do list, man. I'm still Training trying to get party. through Bluey. <laughs> do it. Do it. It's a, also also Bluey. Bo both great shows. Solid I have seen shows. a little bit of Owl House with the uh, Brony Punk. Just both both shows. Absolutely. Mwah. Excellent. Uh, 10. 10 out of 10. It's a shame Disney... Uh, Sure, made we don't need to talk about that let, here. Let, let's okay. not get into that. That that one, I that one can get complicated real fast, and I'm not up for it. We got we're on Fair a mission. Enough. We got news to say. Yes, in fact, uh, the next Fair one enough. we have to wonder why Suki is posting double eyes on Twitter, but that is not why I'm here. Chaos Sakai is asking what Bluey is. Uh, it is a great show about uh, a family of dogs, and you should watch it. It's Australian. Also, yeah. also, circuit. Just to let you know, there's no reason. I, I literally huh. just felt like doing it. You know what? They're just t trust me. Like half the time, I'm just half the time. Things I put on Twitter are just because, or just because I thought I did, I looked at Twitter and was like, I'm gonna put something on Twitter, and I put it there. I'm gonna Twitter it. I'm gonna Twitter it. Okay, sorry. All right. So, oh boy, they they are making this fun. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Trotcon, uh, was trying to bring this up as well because, um. All right, I'm I'm having problems. I'll go ahead and explain it uh, while I'm trying to see if I can find the picture of the announcement. So, Trotcon recently announced that they have finally announced uh -huh, the convention center itself, or where they're going to actually have the actual convention going on. And it looks like it's going to, the uh, convention is going to be the uh, um, the Dayton Convention Center. Essentially. Oh dear world, I'm I am so bad at this. Wait, okay. what? Sorry, I was trying to find the I'm trying to find the information here and it's really make eluding it. This is what I get for not organizing. But it wasn't in any of the uh, normal show notes and I forgot to plug it in here, so now I'm literally scrambling. Remember everybody, if you plan ahead, you don't have to fall behind. Uh -huh. Remember, everyone, if you plan ahead, uh, don't. Uh, I, I'll get you. Okay, here we go. I basically just went to their um, Discord to get this. So, yes, yeah, the Dayton Convention Center. Now, the funny thing about all of this, and th they actually explained this, so I might as well bring it up, too, in case anybody has any questions. The Dayton Convention Center is about 20, 25 minutes away from the initial hotel block that they were doing with the um, the with the uh, Dayton College Hotel or something like, or I can't quite remember what it was called. But essentially, the convention center is away from the hotel block, and people were kind of wondering why. And the thing is, unfortunately, it is the comedy's greatest resource. Timing. Literally the same week that they started to look for, they were going to look for convention spots and hotel blocks to get the convention set up. The hotel attached to the convention center de decided that that very same week they're going to refurbish everything. 
damn. Yeah. So the big, yeah, this big wonderful convention center does have an attached hotel. They were going to um, have blocks in that hotel just to make things easier and fun. Yeah, but in in that escape room, oh my god, there, oh god, that that doesn't this remind you of something a little bit? Come on, anybody? Uh, what it, is it, that? It uh, kind of it reminds me of BronyCon. Does oh yeah, because oh, the sky the, walks. Oh, oh, the yeah. sky walks. Yeah. yeah. Never yeah. been. Reminds me of my old known. hospital I used to go to in the last city I was in. Yeah. It reminds me of a feeling. It's a more Ooh. than a feeling. But anyway, the uh, yeah apparently the Radisson that's attached to the convention center is going. Um, getting being closed for renovations at the exact same time they're hoping that it will be all done and over with and next year the next year they'll be able to have the blocks at the radisson so that they don't have to have a massive uh, transportation system set up in order to allow people to go to and from the convention luckily or unluckily i am not going to be able to go this year probably so um it's not a big deal for me but that does kind of suck altogether. oh hell of a boss is trending Worse. I wouldn't too, I wouldn't bet too much on that. Um Twitter tends to trend based on your own searches. So oh, anyway, that um makes sense. So yeah, the, so that's your convention news. Next up, uh, more pony history. As we mentioned before, we are grabbing the links from Equestria Daily about pony history throughout the years for that day. We're putting it in the show notes to check out. We are not going to go through them. Because they do take a lot of time and they'll and they get silly, but there's some really really fun ones there, and you really I really recommend checking it out, especially if you want a taste of history. But let's go into the comics because first off, the synopsis for ep- for issue thirteen of the My Little Pony comics has been revealed. This one, the Marion Five have entered the Maritime Bay Beachside Bake Off. Try saying that five times fast. Uh, of course, nobody can agree what to bake. So, yep, it's a comic about everybody fighting over what baked goods they should do in the Bake Off. Who wants to bet that they somebody plows uh, with the other person with a chocolate mousse? I'm so glad you continued that sentence there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate yeah, he mousse. Now, complete, he, he completed the sentence, and I can still go, hey. It's the, it's the internet. It's the internet. We all know that somebody can go, hey. <laughs> There's no stopping the internet, so I'm just going to keep rolling. Look out. The moose is on the loose. I mean, for crying out loud. The comics you... are, are adorable. They the are. Moose. I mean, for crying out loud, you, want... you have Izzy eating Verity. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> you know, eating marshmallows. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. She knows who, who best horse is. I got to admit, if anybody were to make main six cookies uh, for a bake-off, it would be Sunny. Yep, <laughs> for sure. So, yeah, the uh, that's the synopsis and the upcoming issue of 12. Of course, we still have more coming. Issue 15 has is showed off its covers. Looks like Izzy um, decides to stick a glue eyes on a sewing machine and random treehouse. Hella. I honestly hope that this is a real thing. The, the, I mean, uh, a show thing. Because a treehouse would be fun. That'd be great. It's just a little hangout for them. Yeah. It's the hangout. It's hangout part plan B for uh, when the lighthouse uh, shatters again. Again. For the third time. <laughs> <laughs> so what <laughs> happened this time? Sparky burns it down. No, no. What happened to the tree? What happened to the lighthouse this time? Well, we gave Sparky burritos and... Say no more. <laughs> 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 Are we talking about normal Doritos uh, uh, or the spicy kind? I'm talking about Taco Bell burritos. Taco Bell burritos. Burritos. Not burritos. Not burritos. I, I burritos. Like burritos. Yeah, burritos. My money's on little crab that was determined from the beginning to knock it down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Giant enemy crab knocked it down for massive damage. Well, I mean, hey, Sparky isn't in there, so that does hint at something. Anyway, uh, what's this issue going to be? I don't know, but it does look really nice, and I do like the retail incentive. That this looks just this is just too sweet right there. 
Look yeah. at that. That's an that's an image you can put up on your wall and enjoy oh, forever. That is so simple. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Of course, some of you are like, but what about issue fourteen? Don't worry, we have you covered. Oh. Who is that horse? That is the question. I think it has been revealed that she is um, not a little sister, but an adoptive little sister of Izzy. Oh my I just goodness! Love that they have a coat pattern. It's great. <laughs> yeah, every, everything about this horse is amazing, and I can't wait to actually see what she's all about. But yeah, for the moment, we all we have are little hints oh. and tidbits. It's she almost looks like adorable. It's almost like it's a way you can introduce family members without it mess it without it being dumb, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be a family, uh, a traditional yeah. family to yeah. be a no, family. Yeah, it's <laughs> a, it's a it's a sister that hasn't that hasn't been mentioned yet because because, <laughs> because they're not actually sisters. It's just sort of just sort of like sisters. Actually, it'd be more fun. It'd be more funnier. I should be funnier. This is my real sister. She's eight years old. We let I left her in that treehouse the entire time I've been here at Maine, uh, at Maritime Bay. I am all. I am very bad. (laughs) Also, she's getting married. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, there's an alarm bell. (laughs) This is my stepdaughter. This is my sister. We're we're engaged. (laughs) Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> we're not related. <laughs> FBI, open up. It's not creepy. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yep, new new pony coming in from the comics. We still don't know if it'll actually they'll actually show up in the show or if it's comics only. Either way, she is two totes adorbs, and I hope we see more fan art of her. But she saw she saw something called of a, a painted horse. As yep. I heard. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on to the next best thing. Music. Because we all love pony music, but sometimes we don't know or there's so much that we don't know what to watch or we want to know what's the latest that is recommended. The top brony music of January has come out. If you don't know what to listen to and you really want to check out the music scene of the Brony community, this is a great way to hear what some people have dubbed some of the best music for that month. And maybe even catch a new artist or maybe see, listen to something from a previous artist you may have not noticed. Hint, hint, not judge. Let's see. Didn't tell, didn't tell Shy about Shining Armor for three seasons. That, you know what? In all honesty, I, I don't... Uh, you know what? You know, I will got on this high horse for a quick second. I don't know why people lose their goddamn minds because Twilight didn't talk about Shining Armor for two seasons. I mean, I I barely talk about the fact that I have three other brothers. Most people probably don't even know Holy I have three shit, other. You have brothers. <laughs> My point exactly. Uh, to be honest, Twilight never talked about herself throughout the those seasons so i never found it yeah odd. yeah and in all honesty it would be really stupid if she if she's like hi i'm your new friend i have an older brother i have a mom and a dad i also have i'm also i've also done you things with it i've done things to your princess i've done many things to your princess anyway <laughs> people don't want to know about you unless they are interested in you and sometimes just things never come up in conversation. I really, it really does bug the crap out of me. But that's there. Okay, high horse over. Let's move on. DM twelve. Do you have a sister? I said so earlier. Yeah. Yeah. See. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow! I yeah. didn't catch on to that. Um, <laughs> man, I know I've Damn. mentioned my family in the past. I guess it's just. I don't. I don't know how long it's been since I've mentioned it. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's just the thing. You, you don't really mention things all too much unless you really get into deep conversations. Yeah, I, know. I guess I guess it's also because of the fact that it, it's because of the fact that he's also, you know, head of the royal guard and he's a par- and he's and the fact that it was him getting married to another princess who nobody had th- had no idea of either. Okay, yeah, that that got a little weird there. CMC, do you have a brother in the royal guards? Wait a minute. CMC's not here. My life is a lie. Oh, no. Well, I'll tell you what. How about we go ahead and do what norm- CMC is normally here for, but now you're here Unless for us. Unless Ponyville was such a hick town they didn't even know about the uh, cadence. Maybe. I'm here. But we have, we have the challenge Hi. of the week. That's right. The challenge of the week this week is... is uh, caption, make your mark, part two. Wait. 
no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Quiplash? Yeah. It random pull of Quiplash. Quiplash. But we also, had the, we also had the protest initiative challenge of Bucket. Ah. Uh, and oh I drew this. God. I drew this. <laughs> Actually, now that I see it, I really fucked up the nose and mouth here, didn't I? Yeah, I was like no, looking at the that, bucket like, did that going on there. I, I, like, two mouths. I don't, I don't know what happened there. I was trying so hard to get the nose to work and the face to work, and I just could not. And nah, uh, no, uh, that's the bucket's fault. I like it. Yeah, the, the joke is wonderful. The, the joke is there. It just basically gets smacked upside the head with a bucket. Of course, there's. Getting- I was yeah. gonna say, how, what was in the bucket? No, absolutely nothing. It was just a random bucket being thrown. I mean, I, that would help explain why the face looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's also the face I make whenever I get completely destroyed at a quiplash because somebody else got a better answer. You grow another mouth? That's awesome. We should play more quiplash. <laughs> oh, this is what, That's what I was talking you... about. Too. All right, all right. Oh, okay. this is what happens when you inhale too too much. Uh... Breezy dust. Uh, Still, no, okay, this looks great. It's like it's like yes when the when the other artist in the call is is joining the non artists and piling on on you. Yes. <laughs> uh, but but Sarah, okay, this look this, this looks good. I like he, it. Unfortunately, I, I just found a, I just saw another error. Yeah. It's okay, Circuit. That's all part of the game. I upload uh, shit all the time and then realize, oh, I forgot that. Forgot that. This is bleeding. Um. Uh-huh. I, I I I oh, made help. something for an art pack a, a while ago, and I didn't realize that some of the uh, shadow from one of the ponies uh, hoof was like leaking onto a pony's tongue in the foreground, and uh, that is just something that I have to live with now. There, it, it was it was submitted before I went to a convention, so I had no chance to fix it. It's just like that forever. Yeah. Well. In any case, sometimes this shit happens, Circuit. It's yeah. all part of life. Well, the reason that this exists, though, is admittedly, I took and I decided to pull a reverse Uno card on somebody. Oh, a oh, whoa. Tokoy threw this into the chat room before he vanished onto a plane. Nice. Yep. So I figured the joke was uh, is, is there a joke here somewhere? I don't know what the actual joke is, Name but I think it, it's a quiplash uh, board. Yeah, but uh, well, I mean, I don't. He, the, apparently, he posted this with the statement "story to come." So oh, those little caricatures are you and Cole. I think they're well. At least I could tell that that one's me, which is where I got the idea. Of uh, me getting basically beat down by a freaking super quiplash, which is apparently a bucket being hurled at me. Hell yeah! So oh, reverse that Uno was card. The before this is the after. Reverse That's Uno what we're card. Talking about. Yeah. Toa usually does it to my images, so I I couldn't think of anything. So this was the perfect time to reverse Uno it. Hell and, yeah! And not only that, screw up a face horribly. So and, now in order to the highlights in your tail. <laughs> That's one of the other thing I just noticed. I just barely noticed that when I was showing that image, too. I just noticed it when you went back to it. Ah, uh, no. Wait, isn't this, that, isn't this that dog squeak toy from that one meme? Yes. Yes. I got gifted this for Valentine's. I was so happy. Yes, here's the other image we got. Bonnie got loafed. Yeah, she got very loafed. <laughs> It's so freaking adorable. It's so fluffy. <laughs> oh my god, I, I almost missed this. And guess what? We have another image. Vaguely Uh-oh. creepy has donate has thrown another one for us. So he gives us oh. bucket of fudge. Excellent. That was a, a good fudge <laughs> bucket. That's exactly. Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10 would eat fudge out of a bucket again. Yep. Yes. Fudge yourself with a bucket of fudge. But, yep. So, uh, bucket of fudge, ran- random uh, squishy pony, and this thing. I had 
I gotten so much Valentine's art, and sadly that's the only safer work one I could show. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just keep it there. But yeah, we got we got some wonderful entries, and I costumed myself. So with that in mind, it's time for our next week's challenge. And of course, that means we get to pull up the randomizer and put in all of your wonderful random suggestions into the randomizer. Randomly pull. So everybody gets one entry. Everybody gets the one. So put in your entries. We'll put them all in the randomizer and make our selections. While I'm waiting for your entries, just a reminder to please check out the fans and misses and suggestions as along with these, I have two videos that I could not show because of copyright issues. We had Until I Found You, wonderful little animatic with Fluttershy and Discord. It's wonderfully drawn, and of course, it's the whole love story thing going on because it was Valentine's. Yay. Oh, Yay. Okay, let's see. Sh Sugary goodness Bye. in my... Uh, just my mage, some question. Is that the your uh, random entry? Sugary goodness in my veins? Valentine's, you only get three things. Let's see. Pie eating contest, product placement, dirt. <laughs> Something cute, something lovely dovey, and then stuff you're not allowed to share with your friends. <laughs> nope, there's a fourth thing you can get. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, lots of liquor and try to forget about the day. I think that kind of goes along the thing of uh, not allowed to show it to your friends and the bottles. Hell, I'll show my friends the bottles. I'll, I'll show them just how, how much of a tank I am. Oh, no, she died. Okay, anyways. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we got a pocket full of posies in there. And while we see if there's any others, also another one to throw out there. And yes, another Valentine's one. This one is really obvious because they basically took the entire Bruno Mars song of Marry You and put it to PMV. So, yeah, <laughs> no surprise this one got hit. But yeah, it's a good old traditional PMV with uh, lovey dovey things. How could you say no to that, right? Exactly. Yep. Let's see. No, 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 random entry is Untold Siblings. And, the co and Judd has cool picture. Got it. Untold Siblings and cool picture. Okay. So I'll make sure sugary goodness in your veins is not it. Though you're not wrong. Uh, sugary goodness in your veins is awesome. And cool picture. This is why we wait. And I think that's everybody's here. So Helix. I stand corrected. We have Helix. How do you draw Helix? That's what up to you. Helix? <laughs> well, that's up to the randomizer to decide if we have to figure it out and the um, our way of interpreting it. Unfortunately, it looks like the randomizer has decided that we're going to have to figure that one out because Helix is the winner. <laughs> of course, Who it is. is Helix? <laughs> why? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Next week's challenge, random challenge is Helix. But we also have the protest initiative challenge. Just miss, just miss type and say Heelys. <laughs> and called us. What is our protest initiative challenge? My mouth is full of Chinese food. Um. Ah. Chinese food. Actually, yeah, Chinese food. He likes the Chinese food. You know what? That sounds perfect. I like. Yeah. I like that. You he likes your chopsticks. I don't know how you did it. You just did. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just sort of uh, what was that weird um sci-fi series? Oh no, um, yeah, it was a, like a sci-fi show where they had like um these little floaty chopstick things that were spinning around and you levitate the food to your mouth for some reason. Somehow, I can't remember what it was. It's like it was like really quirky. Uh, you know, never mind. I'm I'm just gonna move on. My brain's hurting. 